So it is uh, two o'clock and I wanna be cognizant of everyone's time. <clears throat> My name is Kurt Coar. I'm the Director of Public Works and Utilities for the city of Louisville. Uh, I just wanna start out by saying um, this has been tough and I cannot imagine what everyone is going through. And we are trying our best as a community to support everyone. On this specific call, um, we'd like to talk to just the water system and stay focused on that and try to bring you all up to speed on what we've been doing, what we are doing now, and, and where we're moving forward. Um, in regards to the water system during the fire, it taxed our system and superiors. And uh, through the fire event, we uh, introduced raw water into the system just to keep the pipes pressurized and allow the firefighters to keep fighting the fire to save more homes and, and possible lives that were out there. And um, that led to the water system having a boil order on the water system. Parallel to that type of situation, we've had a large burn. And when there's a large burn area in an urban environment and other communities that have water systems that have experienced that, there is a possibility for contaminants to enter the water system during the burn process if the system depressurizes. So what we've been working on through the entire few weeks uh, is to look at how our system performed during the fire and ensure we had maintained positive pressure through everything that was going on. And then we started testing for chlorine, which is a disinfectant used in water treatment. And we tested for bacteria to make sure there's no bacteria in the water. And those things are attributable to the boil order. And then a third thing we tested for was VOCs, which are attributable to the effects of what can impact water supply during a burn. Um, once we, in addition to that, we spent time flushing the system over the course of the first week and we were able to flush out what I'll call main parts of our system. But during the fire, there was areas that we had to isolate in the burn area to um, both keep pressure in the system and isolate these burned component areas. And so we've been able to do in the, as of last week is to bring on the broader areas of the city safely through the testing with chlorine back T and VOCs. And we've been doing that in accordance with the public health department criteria, in addition to working with local and national experts that specialize in water system recovery after a burn and developing our own methods to ensure the safety of the system. So the subgroup of people is a group of people that um, we know that are still impacted and we wanna be able to give you more of a forum for Q and A on what's going on with these areas that still do not have pressure in them. We have been actively this week testing these isolated areas for VOCs. As we take these VOC tests, uh, it takes roughly two days to get a result. And we have to do several tests sequentially to develop a level of confidence. And as we move further into the burn areas to the house level, as we bring on main lines, we'll then also want to be doing testing with all of you at the house level to also ensure there were no burn impacts. To date, uh, we have a large number of samples in the system and we're developing a high confidence level that we don't have burn impacts. 
and we'll continue to learn more details as we work into these isolated areas. We are releasing a map today of the areas that are still isolated and the overall sampling that's been done in the city for public consumption. And we'll be going into more of a real time working in relationship with all of you as we, uh, and, and at your individual properties, as we bring you out of the, what we call our um, phase two boil order lift. Uh, the, and from our understanding, other than a normal life with water, <clears throat> there's different categories of use. Uh, there's use, some people just need water right now to uh, start being able to clean up their homes, restoration. Some people need water for uh, heat, for baseboard heat. Uh, and then there's just water for regular use of showering and flushing. And then there's water use for drinking. Uh, we feel like most of your areas, except for possibly the Enclave in the St. Andrews area, uh, we should be able to get you to water usage and water pressure. Uh, hopefully by the end of this weekend or Monday or Tuesday, we're again waiting on these results. Uh, and then those other two areas that I've mentioned, uh, hopefully in that same time frame, but but it may uh, just take a few days longer um, as we have a lot of testing to do. And, and some of the, the homes that are in these, um, the island homes that the burn is all around them, we're bringing um, water to you through a burned area. And we just wanna make sure um, we both understand what we're gonna be supplying to you. Um, so that's kind of the gist. And um, I know there's probably a lot of questions out there. And so at this point, I'll take a pause and uh, I'm happy to start answering some questions on, on things I may have talked to you or things you still have concerns about. If anyone has questions, there is a um, raise hand button at the bottom of your screen, which you can click on. Um, if you are on the phone, you can dial star nine to um, get your question or get your hand raised. Um, the first question is from Mark. You'll need to unmute on your end. There you go. Can you guys hear me? Got yeah. me? Yeah. Okay. I'm 857 Trail Ridge. So we are the ones that are standing. So everything across the street and uh, quite a few to the west. So are we potentially on end of the week and early next week since we're sort of a end the line kind of deal? Yes, uh, that, that trail ridge area, that entire trail ridge justice park area is being looked at um, in that time frame. Okay, that's good news. Um, yeah, okay. Should I meet back out here or can you guys meet it out? I'll, I'll get you there, thanks. The next question is from Connie. So I would like to know, I thought I heard you say you were going house by house sort of to help us get the water back on. So I was just wondering, we're uh, staying in Greeley with family. How are we gonna know when you need to come to our house or you don't need us home to do that? Or tell me more about the house to house part and what the timeline is. I'm 802 Trail Ridge. Uh, so I'm uh, near um, Estes and Rock Rose and that area of Trail Ridge. Sure. Um, the best way for us to proceed forward with you, if, um, and we'll provide this information at the end of the call, is if you can call our call center and make sure we have your phone number or, and or email. Then as we approach that point, we'll contact you directly to, to work with you at a homeowner level. As far as your private property, um, the utility will, will get water pressure to the property. Uh, we will come in and, and do some sampling, but if there's any um, concerns with bringing your water system back on within your home, uh, you would need to contact a plumber. We, didn't, we would not be working on private systems that you know, may have experienced freezing or other plumbing issues during this event. Okay, and if you could give me that phone number, uh, that would be good. Yeah, we can pause. Gloria, would you like to provide that phone I can, number? I can give it. It's 720-824-3100. Um, and then uh, I guess um, my, yeah, I have people that are cleaning right now. So we're really needing water. I mean, they're trying to bring in these five gallon jugs and whatever to try to help us uh, get the cleaning done because initially you had told us 
that the water was going to be on much earlier. And so anyway, we had scheduled around that. So we're really needing to get water to our house so that we can uh, do this cleaning process and stuff that we're doing right now. We understand and we are working as fast as we can on this. Um, these more detailed burn areas are, are difficult because if we have the wrong results, then we may not only have to not turn on water in these areas, but we may have to, it could impact the rest of the entire system. So we're working very uh, methodically through this to be careful for everyone's uh, public health and safety and to make sure it's done right. Uh, we do apologize if you felt like you had some miscommunication. We had tried to indicate two different areas for the boil order lift. Uh, the first area was the main part of the city and the second area uh, was undetermined because we were still learning how quickly we could accomplish that. Yeah, the communication has not been the best because like I said, we have limited access because we're staying with family to get the messages and all those kinds of things. So you need to do a better job of getting this posted on the website, sending us the individual messages and so forth because I've contacted you and I hadn't heard anything back until yesterday. Okay, we'll, we will work harder at that. Um, next is a phone number ending in 4394. You'll need to unmute on your end. Do they need to press something, Meredith, on the phone? Uh, they should just be able to unmute on their phone. There you go. You're on Hello. Mute. All right. Uh, hi, this is uh, Matt Hayes. Um, I live at 490 Owl Drive. Um, it's in the Wildflower condominium community, um, just a mile up from Old Town where we lost five buildings. And I was just wondering if we're in that time frame of Monday, Tuesday for next week, um, mainly because it seems like people have been out and have tried to turn the water on but didn't have the right water key. And that was a couple of days ago. Um, and they seem to think our building is disconnected from the ones that are burned. Um, so I was just kind of wondering if, if we're in that time frame. Yes, you are in that time frame as well. Okay. That, that, that's helpful, thank you. Uh, next is Rob N. Hello, uh, thank you for your efforts. I, I, I'd like to say I think the city's communicating very well and I, I apologize that others feel that way and are taking it out on you. Uh, can you tell me, uh, sorry, continuation of the theme. We are in, at 1130 West Enclave Circle, which is as I think you're referring to the island where homes burnt all around us and miraculously ours and a few others are standing. We need to work, I believe with Excel also to get our water heater turned on. Uh, can you suggest how we coordinate that? Uh, that's a good question. I um, Are you in, for those that are already in touch with Excel, um, it would be best that when we're dialing in on your day to turn on and come test your system, um, that we can work with Excel to, to be there as well. If you already have contact with Excel, that would probably go much smoother. We can also try to work with Excel ourselves, but they would respond to the property owner um, level faster than likely they would respond to us. Okay, and uh, to give them a heads up, the, the Enclave Island Homes, as you refer to them, is that possibly next Monday, Tuesday? Uh, the, we're shooting for that. It's possible those are like a Wednesday, Thursday. Um, okay. We're testing on those uh, either today or tomorrow in, in Enclave and St. Andrews area um, to be able to get those test results, hopefully two days later. Okay, thank you very much for your efforts. I appreciate all you're doing. Yeah, and I just wanna offer, if I'm using the wrong terminology, if I'm using some sort of terminology that uh, isn't, isn't right for all of you, uh, I apologize. We're, we're trying to work through a lot of problems and I'm happy to call things different names if, if that's needed. Next is Liz. 
Hi, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Hi, sorry. I have my um, 16 month old here too. So you may hear him a little bit. <laughs> um, we live on uh, Meadow Court up by Harper Lake. And mm -hmm. there were two homes next to us that burned down on our street. Um, our house is, is there, fortunately, but it seems, sorry, <laughs> it seems like our water it's like turned on, like when you guys first turned the water on and then it was shut off. So, um, I'm just trying to figure out what, like what category we're in as far as, um, like when our water might be back on. Cause we also have some people who have already started doing the smoke mitigation who, you know, need water soon. So yeah, you, you are in that same group. In all of these areas, you may have sensed a little bit of water pressure this week. We had to open the valve just slightly to get water pressure to be able to take the samples that are currently at the lab and we're awaiting results for. So if you experience water on a little bit and then off, mm -hmm. that was us taking the testing. Okay, great. And then I'm sorry, because I was a little distracted when you were first talking. Um, what was that date range again for my, my house? Um, I'm not down to specific dates, but I would say the range is sometimes Saturday to Tuesday right now. And, and we kind of invited this subgroup of people in so we could get all of your information and then start to start give you more uh, real time information as we get it. So right now I'm like in a five day window and hopefully tomorrow that'll get down to like a one or two day window and we can reach out. Okay, that sounds great. And then just one more question. Um, so once the water does come back on, we should go through that process of flushing it out. Like you guys had suggested, um, a few days ago for the other people who got the water back on, right? Correct. We should go through the same process. And then we would also like to do some testing at your homes just to, um, you know, we don't, based on what we've learned, based on the results we've got today, we're, we're not anticipating any issues at all, but we want to go, we want to be methodical at your home. So you have a clear mind and we have a clear mind. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. And then for that testing, once the water does get turned back on, you'll just contact us or we should contact you. Uh, as long as you call in and have, we have your information, we'll start contacting everybody. Great. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Next is Dan L. Uh, hi, this is Dan Lauterbach. I'm with at 352 True Court, which is just off of St. Andrews, South Dillon. Um, and, and our house is still standing. And I think it's the only one with a, a green placard that, uh, you know, indicates that uh, um, we can, you know, it's okay to, to be in the, in the house. Um, at least I'm not living in it. Right. But, um, yeah, what's our situation? Um, you know, us being uh, kind of isolated there. Is it? Yeah, you're in the same situation where we're targeting to try and get you pressure by uh, Monday or Tuesday. Um, and you're, you're in that similar situation. So, and then just to repeat, because it, it's a lot of information, but our first goal is to get pressure back to these areas and know that the main lines have tested well from the testing standpoint. Um, but in some cases you may be under a do not drink um, guidance from the city. And then once we can come test your home and get the test results at your home, then we would, we would remove the do not drink advisory. Okay, thank you. Uh, next is a phone number ending in 8884. This is Kevin at 806 Trail Ridge Drive. And I think you've answered most of the questions that the water usage that will come on maybe Monday or Tuesday, we can use it for flushing water and the city will test it and then give us the all clear to use it for drinking and flushing out the rest of our systems, correct? That is correct. We're trying to move faster to get you pressure for cleaning your homes and bathing and flushing toilets. Uh, and then there'll be a secondary piece of this for drinking. Thank you. You're welcome. Next is David B. Hi, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Hey, I live on 138 Cherrywood Lane. And first of all, I just wanted to thank you guys. I think you've done a great job and it, it sounds like you've mitigated every, all the issues. Um, so I'm, it's, uh, I'm on a cul-de-sac where it's myself and my neighbor who are the two houses on the water line that are off and all the other houses are gone. So I was just wondering if we're on that weekend or Monday schedule or Yes, I believe your area has been sampled and you are in that um, schedule, maybe just a hair sooner. All right, thanks. And, and so one quick question. So you're saying once there's pressure, it's okay to flush and, yes. and like, okay, just not drink. Yeah, and I, I, we will, um, we're gonna try to provide some um, real-time mapping soon. So that's clear. And it's likely as this, as this, this is all evolving for us, we will likely just like you got your placards from the building department, we will likely go to all homes and provide some sort of placard that gives you what you can do. It'll tell you what you can do with it. And then once we remove that placard, then, and we'll have worked with you, you will be able to drink. All right. Hey, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Um, next is Linda. Yes, hi. Um, I live in the, uh, can you hear me? Uh huh. Okay, I live in the Wildflower Condos. That's on Owl Drive, mm -hmm. and we had fifteen buildings. Some are gone completely. Some are partially gone. And my building is intact. There's six townhouses in that building. My water has been off the whole time. Some of the buildings in the association have been turned on. The question I have is once you've gone through these tests, I'm assuming we're in the testing phase right now. Yep. How do you, there seems to be confusion on turning the water back on to the different buildings. One is access. So there seems to be a couple turning on points for each building. Are you aware of that or have you been able to engineer that or figure it out so you will have know what to do when you're able to turn the water back on? I think our crews are aware of some of the challenges in that location and we're working to when it is time to get you turned on to make sure that's all done correctly and, and all services have been turned on. So you have a way to communicate to us individually or will you like, will you be, should I leave my phone number with the call center? Yes, the best way for me to, I'm trying to start to work with people at an individual personal level. Uh, that's how we'll work through this together over the next week. And if you call the call center, which I'll pause here in a minute and we'll put the number back out there. It would be great to get your most accessible phone number and your name and your email. And then allows us to get with you and respond to questions or give you specifics on when your location will start receiving pressure. Okay. Is there any chance I've heard of different rumors that we might have to have our water lines redone to the buildings? Is that incorrect? You know, based off the information I have and some tests we have in that area, there's no indication that the buildings that were undamaged will need new water lines. Um, but I may not have all the information that's out there, so I don't want to. I don't want to speculate. Uh, but that's why we're being methodical as we move through this, and now we're getting to the one-on-one -on -one level with each of you, is so that we can um, make sure we have all the right information and your water is provided in a methodical and safe manner as we tell you that it's okay to use. Okay, thank you very much. And so that phone number once again is? It is 720-824-3100. And just to be clear, we will be providing a communication after this meeting um, and that number will be in it as well. So if you received an email about this meeting, um, you will receive that information as well. Um, and if you haven't received our emails, um, please call that number and share your details. Next is Rick. Well, you were unmuted for a minute and then it went back on. It's 
Still muted, Rick. Seems like uh, it's going on and off. You might be double clicking when you should single click. You can hold the space bar down and see if that will do it for you. There you go. There you there go. go. Oh, we had it. <laughs> oh, so close. You got it. There you go. Don't, don't. You know, Rick, if you want to call into our call center afterwards, right after this, then I'll touch base with our call center and I can talk with you one on one that way as well. Oh, well, there it is. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, quick question. Uh, live at 820 Mount Evans Court. I appreciate all the work you guys have done. Been great. Um, other than Ashley's uh, email that we all had water, it was, uh, we're, we're fine. Um, what I do want to know is we're living in our house. We did dead little or no smoke damage. Um, but the bulk water keeps disappearing every day and it does come back the next day. But why are you taking it away at like three in the afternoon? Um, I would need to talk with our schedulers on that. And I don't, I don't have a specific answer for you on that. What would be good hours for us? To I think eight, uh, I mean, like eight to five, if they have certain hours, they have to get up at Later than three would be good. A lot of people are in and out of our in our cul-de-sac during the day. They like to be able to fill it up at the end of the day and get all the toilets flushed. And uh, that's basically what we're using it for is the bulk water to flush the toilets. But it was it's been gone the last couple of days around three o'clock and not not back till the next morning. Okay, we can uh, move that to eight to five. Thank you for okay. that feedback. Uh huh. Next is Ken and Lisa. You'll need to unmute on your end. There you How go. About now? Okay, we're at 376 Owl Drive and they did the sampling, I know, cause I saw the city out there, uh, I think it was yesterday. So what happens or what's the process if the water sample comes back to be not good? Yeah, that's a great question. If there were a sample that came back uh, that said that we've detected uh, what are volatile organic compounds, um, we would then isolate that property. If it's uh, if it, we detect it in the main line, we would isolate that piece of the main line. We don't anticipate that happening based off um, what we're seeing, but we would isolate those sections and then we'd immediately do more testing in that area to, to kind of understand the extent of that problem. And, and we work with those folks hand in hand that are impacted. All the testing we've done has come back okay. I mean, it's, it's we've, we've just, Despite this tragedy, we, from the water standpoint, we've had good news after good news, and uh, we anticipate that continuing. And it's, um, I'm just as frustrated as you that we couldn't work faster, but the science on this isn't, the science on this is good, but this doesn't have, hasn't happened to a lot of communities. So we're, we're in some rare air where we're making sure we're, um, like I said, methodically moving forward to test and um, eliminate any issues that could be out there and give you all a sense of confidence. Okay, thank you very much. Well, there are no more hands in the queue. If anyone has a question, you can hit the raise hand button at the bottom of your um, screen. Or if you're on the phone, you can hit star nine. Um, Connie. I was just, uh, did I get unmuted? 
Yeah, yes. I can hear you okay, Connie. Yeah. Uh, I was just wondering about the sewer system. Um, is the sewer system uh, okay in all these areas? Yes, uh, that's a good question. We put video cameras down in the sewer system and we, we didn't notice anything in our sewer system in our main lines. Uh, what we don't know is if, you know, on some of these burned homes, if closer to the foundation, the, the home service line may have may have melted to some extent, but we'll be learning that in the weeks to come. And that, that does not have an impact on uh, the mainline system or any of the public health and safety. Um, Carol is next. Yes, thank you. I couldn't get the, the audio on, so this may have been a question that was already asked. Uh, we live at 802 Flatirons Court and don't have water. When do you anticipate our block will get it? Uh, we're anticipating, we're trying to get all areas to have water pressure by Monday or Tuesday. And okay. then uh, that'll give you the ability to you know, flush a toilet and take a shower and, and do the uh, industrial cleaning that's taking place. And then probably within the week after, uh, we'll have to go property, definitely within the week, within next week, we will go property by property to do additional testing. And once we get a, a all clear result on your property, then we would um, allow it for drinking water. Thank you. Next is Peter. Can you hear us now? Mm -hmm. uh, this is Rosemary with Peter. Um, Peter noted that there previously had been a checklist for the procedure to turn on water in our houses. Um, is, there, is there something like that that you're still providing for us? Glory, did we provide some communications on the checklist for the procedure to flush? Was that in our original boil order communications? Yes, it is. And we will provide that. It is still on our website, um, but we will provide it again to everybody affected and whose water turns back on um, all the processes they should go through to flush their system. Awesome. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you for all you have done. All of you have done in the city. You've made a difficult time uh, easier for us. Thank you. Um, Linda is next. Yeah, I thought of it a new question. Um, we recently at our complex in Wildflower had backflow systems installed. Is that, am I using the correct terminology? Yes. Uh, is there any chance any of those were damaged? Are they gonna be tested also in this process or is that something more in the reconstruction area? Uh, depending on how close, the, I, mean, I don't have all the buildings memorized, but I have been out there. Um, okay. Depending on how close it was to heat, it's possible that there was some damage and, and we'll want to do some backflow testing on those devices and just see what their condition is. Okay, thank you for that. And again, thanks for all you guys have done. Really appreciate it. Especially, I'm grateful to have that tank of water out by the street so I can get water to flush my toilet. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Uh, Is there any other uh, questions yeah. out there or um, concerns? Well, this is very helpful. Um, it's great that we got all of you and we could communicate to call the call center and get us your info. And um, we will be working hand in hand with each property uh, that's, that's still coming into pressure we're working with you over the next, you know, could be one to five days to get you to something functional and then one to 14 days to, to get you something drinkable. Uh, and, and as I said, we're, we're doing a lot of testing. Once we take a test, some of these tests take two days to get the results. Some of these tests take five days to get the results. And the reason we're doing all this testing is to ensure the health and safety for you and your families. So it's, um, it's methodical and it takes time. And I can't even understand what you're all going through, 
but if you stick with us, we'll stick through with you and um, we'll get through this. Um, hey, Kurt, I just wanted to say um, to everybody um, who's on the call, obviously you found out about um, the meeting one way or another, either through our social media or through our emails. Um, if it was shared with you by a neighbor uh, or text, please do call the call center number. Um, and also you can visit now our Marshall Fire website, which is louisvilleco.gov forward slash Marshall Fire. And under water updates, the interactive map that Kurt was talking about is available. Um, so if you have any problems um, navigating that map, um, which shows you all the samples that Kurt was talking about, please call the call center or email marshallfire at louisvilleco.gov. Um, so yeah, so we will be putting out additional communications and we will be making a recording of this meeting available on that same Marshall Fire website. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I think this concludes our Q&A session. And uh, if you have additional one-on-one -on -one things you'd like to talk about with me personally, let the call center know and uh, we'll be in touch. But otherwise, if you don't, we'll be in touch here in the coming days to, to work on sampling and continue to bring the system online. So thank you very much for your time today.